Hey guys, what is up? It's Laura here, back with another food review. So, I don't know if you guys know, but I have been um, trying... This is something that I used to do a while ago. I don't really do it as much anymore, but I used to be huge into trying like various vegan foods and or keto food. So, this is what we will be trying out today. So, I ended up purchasing the variety pack on Amazon. Um, I don't remember how much it was maybe 20 30 if I can find it I'll put them in my description below but this is essentially low carb slash keto cereal um what really attracted me to magic spoon is more so that it I don't know the packaging looks sick to me it looks like a really premium cereal um I'm normally used to seeing them in like the large boxes but I didn't know that they had single serve super cool so I will just be trying one for this video just because I don't really want to waste it um, because I literally just got done eating a pretty large lunch. So yeah, we have, oh, I will go through the nutritional information and then I'll go through the flavors. So it looks like each one is between 13 to 14 um, grams of protein. And then when it comes to people who are like, keto they usually try to hit a certain amount of net carbs so it looks like each cereal is four net carbs um my one friend who's keto i think she well she's not keto now but she was keto for a really long time she's pregnant so she's trying to eat a more varied diet but i think she said if this is for she tried to do 13 to 20 i think something like that in a day so Let's see if there's any more nutritional facts. Um, calories, it's looking like between 170 to 180. Total carbohydrate looks like it's about 10 to 15 milligrams. No, 10 to 15 grams. Yeah, I'm not keto, so I'm not entirely sure the significance of that. But all I'm taking from this is that it's basically zero sugar and... Um, high in protein. I'm, I want to see what they use instead of sugar. Uh, let's see here. Milk protein blend. So it looks like they use whey protein and monk fruit extract. If you aren't keto, monk fruit extract is actually a pretty um, widely used substitute when it comes to not using sugar. So the flavors are... This one's fruity. This one's cocoa. I'm not actually a huge chocolate fan. I'm probably gonna pass that one along to someone else. I like like hot chocolate um, and like milk chocolate, but I'm just not really big into chocolate like that. Um, I don't know, it's hard to describe. This one's peanut butter and then this one's frosted. So it looks like they do a pretty good job of having their cereals like replicate your average like cereal just you know, with the nutrition facts being different. So I have, um, this isn't even because like I used to be keto or I used to be vegan. I honestly just cannot drink like milk, like straight up or a large amount of milk anymore. I don't know, the taste just throws me off. It has to be like mixed into things. So I use either oat milk or I use almond milk. So Today we're using the Califia Farms almond milk. Um, and yeah, so I think this one will be the one that I try. So it looks pretty good. Doesn't have much of a smell. I mean, kind of smells like Fruity Pebbles. It's pretty though, I will say that. Um, I don't know why I ended up getting a bowl. I could literally just use this as the bowl, honestly. Okay. But it looks good. It actually looks like a pretty decent portion. I'm so excited to try this out. Oh, you get a lot of cereal. I don't even think I put enough milk in. OK. 
Okay, I'll get a couple of them and a little bit of milk. It definitely doesn't taste as sweet to me as like regular, um, not Fruity Pebbles. I mean, it tastes similar to Fruity Pebbles. I'm thinking of Fruit Loops. This is probably what that's supposed to replicate. Honestly, taste wise, it tastes pretty similar to Fruity Pebbles and or Fruit Loops. Just not as sweet. It's got a really good crunch to it. Yeah, I don't mind it at all. People have told me that they thought I wasn't going to like it because it has whey protein. And whey protein is actually a pretty dominant flavor. But no, it's actually pretty good. I'm actually really impressed. I'd give that like an 8 out of 10. So go get you some.